Here we are being asked to enlarge this shape by a scale factor of 3. Now, our shape here is a rectangle. Now, and clearly the shape has the dimension, the base is 3 boxes across and the height is 2 boxes across. So let's write this down. And obviously the units have not been given, so I'll just, just write the numbers. Now, all you have to do in enlargements is just multiply each of the dimensions here by the scale factor. So if the length of this or the base of this rectangle is 3, the enlarged shape here will have a base which is 3 times the length here because we are multiplying by the scale factor. So what's 3 times 3? It's 9. So the enlarged shape, the new shape, will have a base of 9. What will be the height? Well, the height here is 2. So we multiply the 2 by the scale factor of 3. What's 2 times 3? It's 6. So the height of the enlarged shape will have a height of 6. So let's do this. So here I've enlarged the shape. Now, as you can see, the base here is nine boxes across and the height here is six boxes across. Now clearly you can see that I've multiplied the base of the original shape by the scale factor of nine. So sorry by the scale factor of three. So the multiplier there is three. And what I did with the height, I multiplied the height there by the scale factor of 3. So it was 2 times 3, it became 6. So the multiply there was clearly 3. And that's how you enlarge a shape. So here I'm being asked to enlarge the shape by a scale factor of 4. So this is my shape. Now, in order to enlarge this by a scale factor of 4, once again, all I have to do is just multiply the dimensions by 4. So, the units have not been given, but all we can do is just count the boxes. So, how many boxes across there do I have? 2. And across there is just 1. That's 1 there, 1 there, 2 down there, 1 there one there and one there. Now all you have to do is just multiply these dimensions there by the scale factor of 4. So let's do this. So here we have our enlarged shape. Now as you can see, if we look at the original shape, the original in the original shape, the side here was two, bo two boxes up. What's 2 times the scale factor of 4? 2 times 4 is 8, so the enlarged shape, the new shape has the dimension there of 8. 1 across this way, what's 1 times 4? 1 times 4 is 4, so 4 across this way. And you can see the same thing for all of the other dimensions. I have just multiplied the dimensions of the original shape by the scale factor of 4, and I've drawn the enlargement, and we're done here. Now, sometimes you may be asked, not to enlarge a shape, the enlargement will already be given to you, they will ask you to work out the scale factor of enlargement. In other words, what did we multiply by to enlarge the original shape? Now here, triangle A was enlarged to produce triangle B. So triangle A is your original shape, your, uh, your original triangle, and this was enlarged to produce triangle B. What is the scale factor of enlargement? In other words, what is the multiplier? All you need to do is just compare the corresponding sides. So here I have the base there, which is 3. Now in the enlargement, the base there is 15. Well, clearly from 3 to 15, the multiplier there is just clearly 5, because 15 divided by 3 is 5. So my scale factor of enlargement is just 5, and we're done.